Great. Okay. So let's take it nice and easy because uh, you're up late and you're working on this marvelous um, work of art that we see in front of us. Um, shall I no, roll really. the tea then? Should we have a should we have a little look at it and we can have a little chat while it's running? Yes, and we're calling this a preview because it was the clips together and then I was trying to edit out some of the, the, the strange stuff and trying to put in some of the good stuff, but it needs a lot more. So no, this okay. is a preview and you're lucky to get it live here. Good morning, Portugal. So who is this gentleman here then? Well, if you put on the volume, it's explaining. This oh, is you... Richard Nisbet. All right, all right, okay. You've got quite a few, don't you? You've had a few yeah. Two parts to it, really. There's that part, which is what we want to be like the care home okay. side of things. And this, this. He's British. Is he, not? is he British? Um, yes, but he's from India and he's lived all over the world. So he's one that um, he owns a magazine called the East Oligarch Magazine. And this oh, article is actually, me. hello, Catherine. Um, the, um, the, information about this place is in his magazine so you can catch it online if you google it as well as um, his story on how he's moved abroad and he's had some tough times and he shares those as well and um, yeah, well, yeah. with his family but 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 had very um a, a very great success with this they're just at the very end and with some members passing away in his family he nice. wants to go ahead and get investors and finish it. So. All right, let's let's see a little bit more. Yeah, just show me around as if you're just showing anybody, you know. Just, and that's his wife. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> so this is not the same. The day room. This senior care facility project is still under construction, but it's 90% complete, and they're still looking for a few more investors to finish it up. Room. So these are the 32 of, of these rooms. Downstairs, all will have uh, space outside, so they have a small garden outside the patio doors. Nice. So you've been working on this a year? Two years? Start the build in 2013. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but then there were four of us at that stage, my partner, my ex wife, my, my dad, and my stepmom. And in the last four years, they all passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. We are trying to get four family members passed away. Yikes. Yikes. Well, that makes it Ooh. easy. They're really nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Beautiful. It's nice. Oh, my gosh. So then the, the gardens go from the, the corner there with the palm trees. There's a, a, a well there down to the corner. With their own well, the hills. It's by Sal Brass to the airport. So, hell. how much do you figure you need to invest more? Like, what would be the total investments and would need we, to? What we're looking for is to, to refinance, so that's one Okay. Point. So five everything's million. wheelchair friendly or easy yeah. accessible. Okay. 5850 So, we're at two and a half million. Okay. Um, but that will mean we don't it and it'll be finished. Oh, that's cool. Up and running. The property includes 32 double rooms and six cottages. There's a medical center and spa on site, along with a restaurant and swimming pools. And it is currently 90% complete. The total property value is estimated at $6.5 million. The property spans 50,000 square meters of land, and they're currently looking for investors to help complete the project. The investment opportunity stands at 2.8 million, which qualifies for Portugal's Golden Visa program. Another cool little back area. Wow. The property spans 50,000 square so these are meters. The, um, little villas. Yeah. 
It's just huge. The place is huge. You have a little backyard as well. Or? I'm just going to drop the volume for a minute and, and ask you a few questions about it. So at this stage, they're looking for an investor in the whole thing. This, I mean, this is going to be basically a, a, a beautiful an Algarve based old folks home or you would, as you would call it in the United States, an eld, uh, elders, senior seniors facility. Right. So yeah, where you can live communal... these ones here are the, um, uh, the, the, sorry. Are these the cottages that you mentioned? Yes, those are like the cottages or yeah. I've got another name for them, but I can't remember it. And swimming pools. And and so I just sent you the data on all of it. Um, mm. what, what they're looking for is one investors or multiple investors. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the, it says the investment opportunity stands at 2.8 million. So, and then that qualifies for Portugal's golden visa. So mm -hmm. you can still, you know, you can still do the investments um, for buildings in certain um, areas that are underbuilt. This is one of those regions that are underbuilt. So you can still qualify for the golden visa with this one. So okay. you can invest in this one. And then you can also um, have a place here too. And then, so you can invest in it and then your investment dollars are going towards your own place, right? Well, I'll be straight, straight to the heart of the matter. Um, it's like Dragon's Den suddenly. What's the yes. return? Bobby O'Reilly is sat in a chair looking at the presentation. What's the return? He says. So he says the annual income is projected at 2.4 million with estimated running costs of 1.185 million. This results in a potential pre tax profit of 1.235 million per year. So you think if it's something you're enjoying and you're getting money back and you're living in it, I'm thinking that's a win win. Like for me, Personally, I mean, I would always say, out. check out. Oh, this is where they're going to have the surgery center. They're going to have doctors coming in every day, different languages. One of the things that's an issue is there's no um, no place in Portugal for people who speak English for um, when you need a care home. Right. Yes. You can always have somebody come into your home. There's one, but it's completely full. And then I send you the note that came from the article from the gal Kelly Harper, who's the CEO oh, yeah. of Algar uh, Care Services, and she says she's got a huge list just herself. She's from one of people who are looking for these type of care homes, which right. we know. I mean, that's the future. Marriott's investing in them. All these other, you know, um, yeah, yeah. get that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. care is needed, but to have one in that's English based and that will bring in doctors of other languages, and then in that care facility that he was showing in there they're going to have that turkish bath and also it'll be open to the public so they'll have a doctor come in and of course it'll be for their people first and then when the doctor's got extra appointments he can take people there as well so being out a little bit in the country because it's just just kind of north east of lule so lovely place to be great so yeah if you look at you know sal brashti or Portel, that's the easiest way to find it because yeah. it's right next to there because it's a little one of those little towns next to it where Sal Brashti Airport Hotel is a bigger town. So it's just a really interesting thing. Um, if I had the money, I'd be interested in doing it because I like that they're going to be working with the community as well. I brought out what brought up this place is so huge. What about community gardens and doing things with the kids and the elderly because that's where we're kind of missing a hole where our elderly aren't are kind of being shoved to the corner as yeah. are children in daycare because, you know, everybody in the middle has to work. So they're being shoved into care where if you can have a facility where they can work and play together, the seniors have so much to offer a lifetime of experience. Literally. Free childcare, free childcare as well. And, and, and people who really care, grandparents who care. I mean, you don't want the Alzheimer ones who are going through their anger stages who might be them or something. Yes, yeah, so that's got to be there are, <laughs> But there are so many, you know, great places that I think it fits a niche market when you have a property that big. Because when you look in most cities, it's like the size of a house. You have the rooms, that's it. And they might have a few care, a, a few community uh, centers, but they're more like rooms. They're not these huge rooms, one room after the other after the other. I like I like the style. Um, yes, the best your your own best exotic marigold 
hotel. It does it does have those vibes potentially, doesn't it, with the with the hot weather and the exotic uh, Algarve climate. Um, really liking this idea. And um, yeah, yeah. oh, more more questions about the opportunity. That return is based on full occupancy. I assume that was the problem with trying to attract a senior centre. Uh, where we used to live in the US, it could never get full occupancy commitments. I, a bit like uh, the hotel business, I suppose, as well. Then I'm sure if you want to talk more, not some. Yeah, I would say talk to him and talk to the senior care really, people and get. Yeah, but and we eventually yeah. are going to do a, a, a show on that. I think we need to talk about bring him on uh, some point at some point. Yeah, bring him with you one one th or, or we'll do a special on it yeah. because uh, you know I'm I yeah, I'm not so good. much. Yeah, yeah, it'd be great. We'd, we'd do it in the evening. Uh, we, we could do it as one of our evening shows. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love the idea sociologically. And you know, joking aside, we made some cheap jokes at the expense yeah, of the old folks there, which um, is very tempting, of course. Um, but on, on a more serious note, it's very important, isn't it, that the, we get this uh, elder care right. And we've got a beautiful climate, uh, a great building, good facilities. And this idea of, of it being more of a village, a functional, real village feel, rather than a prison camp for old people. Because that's what a lot of old folks' homes look yeah. like. They don't get ghettoized, don't they? Yeah. And, you know, obviously, you've got to be secure. But sometimes that barrier makes for a, a kind of prison, really, of just old people um, stuck behind doors and were looking forward to their relatives visiting. And, and, and we could really change that, couldn't we, with this yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. texting him right now. Right. Uh, well, well, I could have said, "Come on." I don't know. My brain lately. Let me. Tell another you. time. Another time. Not a problem. But you know, I think it needs community management as much as anything else, doesn't it? You know, obviously, you need the hotel services well, well sorted out. You know, good people running the place. You need medical services. But it sounds like you need sort of facilitation as well, doesn't it? If in a community, how many people are going to be living there when it's done? It's, it's going to be like. So they have space for, they have 32 double rooms and six cottages. And one of the things that he was talking about even is leaving some open for hotels. So right. kids, grandkids could come have their yes, yes, there yes, yes, yes. with yeah. their grandparents, right? Yeah. So you've still got it. And then for the the senior care facilities you've got areas that are blocked off just for them so when we were going through they were building that outdoor kitchen it looked like a huge one of those huge barbecues yes. that looked really nice um and so he said like this would be only for them there's going to be areas that are cordoned off only for them but there'll be some hotel areas where people can bring in their kids and so you know you can Wait, go see grandma and grandpa and it's fun because there's a pool with other kids and you saw how huge the facility is. And I mean, yes. you know how labor is inexpensive here. And same thing when we walked into one room and he says, he says, I said, wow, this is almost done. He says, wow, you're one of the first person that says that. Everyone else says, look how much work there is. But I know <laughs> how these people are and I know how they came in and they're like, oh, we're going to, you know, re you know, rip out walls and do all this stuff and all this you know, great um, contractor type work in in a project that I had. And they're like, it's $2,000. And I went, what? You know, and this was somebody that the school used was, you know, bonded and everything because the schools used them to do mm. their bathrooms and, and tiles. And you're like, it's so inexpensive. I mean, every place is different, right? Lisbon's going to be a whole different animal than, yes. you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lovely location. And as you say, yeah, it would be a pleasure to go and see grandma or granddad, wouldn't it? Have a holiday um, in the Algarve as well, and hang out. Very nice, a, a, a good concept. Um, Frank, to Frank, what's the plan to manage and operate this facility once complete? So the family who are developing it, by the sound of it, will have some part to play They'll in. They'll stay they, there. Yeah, there's actually a housing place where they lived and their parents lived. Yeah. So yeah, okay. we'll but, well, but I would say, yeah, contact them. Like, or if there's questions, then maybe we need a show where we have him on. I just wanted to bring this up as this is. Such a cool idea. He's nearing the end. And once, you know, he kind of gets the people in, that's it as far as the investment. So if you're you're interested, talk with him. And of course, you talk with your accountants and, you know, have them check out banks and financing funding and insurance and blah, 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 all that. I stuff. would love to be the social manager of a place like that. Get people coming in, doing talks, demonstrations, yeah. restaurants coming in and doing previews, yes. chefs. 80s disco, monthly 80, yes. well, 70s disco, 80s oh. disco. It's well, maybe this is for you. And then your kids, your kids are so amazing and awesome. I love them to death. They could be there too. They'd have their own rooms. And <laughs> be great fun, really good fun. But thank you for sharing that with us and, and all the best. It's and a very brave, 
it's a brave project, isn't it? A very brave project. And he's not been without his challenges on that by the sound of it. So um, yeah. all the best to them uh, in their endeavour. 